growing up on island as a Native American person, um, I found so much solace in running away from home as someone who is always trying to find a place where we belong. And right here with the earth, you know, with the land, with the aina, being here is sacred. I feel very whitewashed sometimes just because of other people's projections and because I didn't grow up on my reservation. It really is important that we look after one another and we don't just take out our pain of, uh, from shame, from isolation. We need to hold each other uh, now more than ever, you know? It's really beautiful to be able to get to be seen and get to be able to showcase kind of your culture in a way that's both safe and both like familiar and nice. Um, for a lot of people who are from the mainland or grown up on the mainland, they're used to powwows or like kind of a traditional, like their traditional dances or having that kind of community of the reservation. And coming all the way out to Oahu for college and going to Hawaii, like obviously it's 2,000 miles away. It's been amazing to kind of just get to build that and experience having that kind of connection. Because Native American culture is not of this aina, um, it, we, you know, we come here um, humbly and we make sure that we ask for permission to do things before we do it. Um, same thing, you know, if we're not on our own homelands, you, you, that's how you approach um, a, being in a new place, a new space. Um, and, you know, so we, we just make sure that we do the way things the way that we were taught. Um, even reservation to reservation back home, you don't just go to somebody's reservation gangbusters. You always go, you know, humbly and respectfully um, and do, you know, partake of their customs, you know, whatever, however they do things. So, Oahu Native Nations is one of the organizations that we have on Oahu, and it's a group of different natives from Turtle Island and indigenous people who have come together to put together a great event for lots of different people from all over of all tribes and it's just really fun to come together and build community. Uh, we do different things within the community. We hold powwow dance classes, um, we do beading gatherings, ribbon skirt gatherings, um, red earring gatherings, moccasin making, you know, just kind of whatever we feel like, hey, let's do that. You know, people are expressing interest or we're getting close to our powwow, let's get everybody ready, you know, those kind of things. I think that everybody has a way to connect to culture in different ways and that this is just one great way that we get to see all the different ways that we can come together. So, come out with an open mind and open heart and partake in Native American culture.